Hey guys, welcome back to Fear and Loathing in New Vegas. Let's play. So we made it. We made it to the strip. Here we are. Howdy, partner! You've come for a piece, haven't you? Welcome to New Vegas. Um, who are you? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the Securitron that dug you up in the bone orchard outside Good Springs. What? I thought you'd gone up the flume, but that Doc Mitchell knows his trade. It's good to see you up and around, right as a trivet. Uh... This place looks amazing. Where do I start? The place to get started is Lucky 38. See that big old tower shaped like a roulette spinner? That's where you find Mr. House, New Vegas' head honcho. And he's itching to make your acquaintance. Okay. Why is the robot passing on his invitation? Well now, it was Mr. House who made Securitrons like me. Seems the least I can do is pass on his message. Don't dog. He'll be waiting. Don't dawdle. Wow. Fucking Crocker couldn't find his ass if it wasn't on his backside. A serious beat stick. Hey, you got any change, man? I got five kids to feed. Self-control is a virtue. Okay, shall we go see, uh, Mr. House? Hey, lady. Send those chips my way. Yeah. Please enjoy the casinos. I will, my friend. Lucky 38. There it is. Kamora. Tops. We're soaking in. Well, howdy, partner. Good to see you again. Boss is waiting for you upstairs, so get a move on. Don't tell me to get a move on. Thank you, Victor. I see you brought some friends. Sorry, partner, but they're gonna have to stay outside. Uh... <laughs> no problem. Come back soon now. I can handle myself. Hey, you there. I have a message for you. It's from Ambassador Crocker. Very important. Here you go. Enjoy all the Vegas Strip has to offer. Where okay, Victor. Partner? Guess we're going to the penthouse, baby. Wow. So <laughs> this is Mr. House's get up. Very nice. Well, hello, sugar. Mr. House is waiting for you in his office. Who are you? I'm Jane, one of Mr. House's girls. We keep him entertained. We don't get many guests lately. Perhaps we can entertain you as well. Uh, no thanks. What can you tell me about New Vegas? Oh, there's lots of things to tell, I'm sure. There's the three families, the casinos, the other attractions. What would you like to know? Tell me about the three families. They're just new money, sugar. They might pretend they're sophisticated, but between you and me, they're not far off from tribals. Their marriages especially are just awful brutes. The chairman and the White Glove Society at least pretend to have some culture. Okay, tell me about the casinos. Well, of course, there used to be a lot more of them. 
But these days, there are three open to the public. The Tops, the Ultra Lukes, and Gamora. And the Lucky 38, of course. But we're not open to the public. You're a special case, sugar. Tell me about the other attractions. Well, let's see. The NCR has an embassy here, but why you'd want to go talk to a bunch of boring old politicians, I surely don't know. Oh, and the Vault 21 Hotel and Gift Shop has an adorable collection of old Vault Tech memorabilia. And I suppose, if you like neon signs, you might check out Michelangelo's sign shop. Anything you like, sugar? What can you tell me about Mr. House? Why, sugar? He's the maximum utmost. If it weren't what? for Mr. House, we wouldn't have this fabulous wonderland of New Vegas, would we? Sounds like you're pretty fond of him. I didn't realize robots could have such strong feelings about people. Sugar, I may be a robot on the outside, but on the inside, my neurocomputational matrix is an exact copy of Mr. House's favorite girl. So you're a copy of a dead woman? What exactly do you do for Mr. House? It sounds like you're pretty fond of him. Well, of course I am, silly. Mr. House is just the smartest, most wonderful man there ever was. Why, did you know he single-handedly reclaimed New Vegas from all those nasty tribes that used to live here? Well, he single-handedly sent in his Securitrons to do it. But that counts in my book. Anything you like, sugar? What is this place? This is the Lucky 38 Resort and Casino. Or it used to be. Mr. House has kept the place locked up tight for ages now. Nobody comes in or out. What kind of robots are you? Why, I'm a Robco PDQ-88B Mark I Securitron, you silly goose. We're the finest in personal civil robotic security on the market. Okay, what's with the snow blurb collection? Not many people know this, but Mr. House is one of the world's biggest collectors of antique snow globes. Hmm. If you happen to find any out in the wasteland, you can bring them to me, and I'll add them to his collection. You'll get a reward, of course. In fact, one of Mr. House's favorites went missing when we moved the collection. If you have a look around the Lucky 38, you might even find it. Hmm. Yeah. Not a massive place. Hello, Mr. House. A lot of robots. Not much loot. Oh, whiskey. Need whiskey. <laughs> yes, yes. Hello. This meeting has been a long time coming, hasn't it? You've come a long ways, literally and, I suspect, figuratively as well. I have to ask, now that you've reached your destination, what do you make of what you see? What the hell are you? A crude question, crudely asked. Yes. I'll be happy to satisfy your rambunctious curiosity at a more appropriate moment. But now, I'll repeat my question. What do you make of what you've seen? Uh, I see you devote to vice and sin what's not to love. Oh, come now, don't play the fool. Vegas has fools enough, a superfluity of them. They're what makes it so profitable. They come to Vegas chasing penny-ante dreams of high living, to feel like they're big shots, like they're winners. You see that you and I are of a different stripe, don't you? We don't have to dream that we're important. We are. Uh. Why the VIP treatment? I'm just a courier. 
Oh, don't be coy. You've been playing a high-stakes game ever since Victor dug you out of the ground. Don't be afraid to admit it. Well, let's get down to business. The then. business is this. One of my employees has stolen an item of extraordinary value from me. And I want it recovered. Simple enough. Um... I'd like to ask some questions. What did you wish to know? Hey, you sound like Lord Harkon from Skyrim. What terms are you offering? My only concern is the recovery of the Platinum Chip. What happens to Benny, I leave to your discretion. When you bring the chip to me, I will pay you four times the delivery bonus stipulated in your contract. How's that? Damn it. One thousand caps, I accept your turn. Well enough. Return to me when you have the Platinum Chip in your possession. Any final matters for us to discuss? Yes. What else did you want to know? You definitely sound like Lord Harkon. How do I get to Benny? It won't be easy. Benny is always surrounded by at least four bodyguards. Except when he's in his private suite on the 13th floor of the Tops. The chairman are your employees, don't they take orders? It's more complicated than that. The chairmen share what you might call a tribal affinity. Look for a man named Swank, Benny's second in command. He's always been a reliable, if unimaginative, employee. Do your best to convince him that you're working under my auspices. If you have evidence of Benny's crimes, show it to him. Why can't you be the one to tell Swank? By contract, Securitrons are to enter the casinos only when invited by the three families or if other extraordinary circumstances arise. The moment I send one into the tops, Benny will know I'm on to him. Say I wanted to take a diplomatic approach. If you were to approach Benny in public, you might be able to leverage his fear of exposure to make him agree to meet with you in private. Any ideas how I can catch him off guard? Sneaking into Benny's suite on the 13th floor would be very difficult, but not impossible. There might be guards. Certainly there'd be a sturdy lock on his front door. Well, let's talk about something else. What else did you want to know? Tell me about Benny. Benny has led the chairman ever since I recruited his tribe seven years ago. Until his recent misbehavior, I planned to make him my protege. Maybe if I'd begun grooming him sooner, none of this would have happened. What use would you have for a protege? To achieve my aims, I require a capable human agent to perform certain... tasks. I knew Benny was ambitious, even ruthless, but I believed he would do the job so long as he was incentivized appropriately. Obviously, I miscalculated his drive for supremacy, but in any case, you've come along. A more than suitable replacement. Why did Benny betray you? I have to think that he found out about the Platinum Chip and mistakenly convinced himself that he could use it to his own ends. One of the problems of a tribal workforce, I'm afraid. No intuitive understanding of how complex technologies can be. Why didn't you intervene sooner when Benny ab ambushed me? Why didn't Victor intervene sooner, you mean? Good Springs is a bit too far away for me to reliably control a Securitron agent by remote. I can send and receive packets of data at best. Victor's combat algorithms determine the proper course of action. Benny and his thugs were more than a match for a lone Securitron. When he alerted me, I instructed him to approach the site after Benny and the others had departed. What else did you want to know? What is the Platinum Chip? It's a very special item. There's nothing else like it in the entire world. It was lost a long time and difficult to find. That's all you need to know about it for this stage of our enterprise. Fulfill your contract, deliver the chip, and good things will come your way.
If the chip's so valuable, why use a single courier to transport it? You realize you were just one of many couriers. The rest of them dummies, so to speak. Add to that many thousands of caps worth of mercenary protection to screen your avenue of approach. Had I used an armed caravan to transport the chip, I might as well have been announcing to the world, this is important, attack this. I didn't want to attract the attention of groups like the Great Khans or the Brotherhood of Steel. Alas, the real threat was closer to home. Why don't you know that? I have a right to know more. That's simply not true. I okay. am the only person to hold any rights pertaining to the chip. I designed it and I paid for it dearly. To develop that chip, I spent a sum of US dollars. Not the bottle caps that pass as currency these days, but a sum beyond counting. For decades I paid salvagers to comb the ruins for it. And when it was finally discovered, Tens of thousands of caps spent to have it brought here. We know how that turned out. Complete your contract, and it will be the last time I pay for the chip. Save your questions for then. Why don't... No, no. Frontal assaults on casinos? Not good for business. In any case, Benny would see it coming, and all he'd have to do is hold the chip up and point a pistol at it. Our foremost advantage is that Benny doesn't know that I know he has the chip. Let's not squander it. What else did you want to know? Who exactly are you, Mr. House? I am Robert Edwin House, President, CEO, and sole proprietor of the New Vegas Strip. I oversaw the city's renovations starting from 2274 onward. The three families are my employees. Before the Great War of 2077, I was the founder, president, and CEO of Robco Industries, a vast computer and robotics corporation. You appear to, appear to be a computer, not a man. Don't let the video screens and computer terminals fool you. I'm flesh and blood, not silicon. You must be like a brain in a jar. <laughs> How have you stayed alive? All Let's time? just say it was very costly. But I was willing to make the sacrifices longevity entailed, financial and otherwise. How did you establish New Vegas? We can discuss this in greater detail at another time. Suffice it to say that when my Securitrons detected NCR scouts at Hoover Dam, I took action. I recruited a tribal force to supplement my Securitrons and renovated the Strip just in time to welcome the NCR as it marched into the region. Instead of war, a treaty was negotiated and the money started to pour in. What else did you want to know? Tell me about the factions vying for New Vegas. It's understandable that you'd be curious about this topic. But we'll hold off until the Platinum Chip has been recovered. What else did you want to know? That's it. Well enough. Be on your way. Hey, are you going to set me up with some pad? With... I, want a... I want a room or something. Somewhere to store all this junk. Damn it. Sugar, Mr. House is waiting for you in his office. Yeah, yeah. Where's my house? Congratulations, partner. Yeah. The boss has instructed me to comp you to the high roller suite. You can bring your friends too. Be like a little clubhouse for the gang you put together. Woo. Just bear in mind, you're the only one gets to see the boss. Any friends you got, they can wait in the suite. Enjoy the digs, partner. They're plenty fancy. Let's go to the cocktail lounge, where that is. Gimme, give gimme. Give
gimme, 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 money, money, money. Oh, I see the snow globe. Okay, should I keep it or should I sell it to Mr. Hoss? All these are currency is going to be useful for uh, for gambling oh look at that that's a a lamp made out of a sarsaparilla bottle Yummy, 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 I got love in my tummy. And I feel like loving you. Do, 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 do. Well, hello, sugar. Mr. House is waiting for you in his office. I've got a snow globe of Miss, for Mr. House's collection. You do? Two Why, thousand. that's just wonderful. I'll take it and put it with the rest of the collection. Yeah. Now I can get an implant or something. Okay guys, we are back. And we have changed our armor. Yes, we have gone for the NCR kind of look. Or well, fucking NCR look. <laughs> but yeah. I know I've gone with light touch. I wish I didn't now, but for now, I think this song is much more suitable. You know, weighs a lot. But once I'm able to make a gecko armor or something different, and get some decent light armor, then uh, yeah, it'll be worth it. Another thing, I got. I think it's this button. Yeesh. I got night vision or whatever vision it is. It drains batteries, so. Yeah, it's like a predator kind of look thing going on. So. We are more or less done here. I've uh, bought. Uh, Workbench and a weapon locker and a f you know just those two. So I've got somewhere to come and build something if I need to. And uh, I I think we are sweet. done. We are done with Mr. House for now. Casino floor. Vegas in the daytime. Well, howdy, partner. Good to see you again. Boss is waiting for you upstairs. I'll see you down, boss. I see you brought some... No deal. Boss is pretty clear on this. I can't let you in unless you buy your lonesome. Whatever. Enjoy the Dancing makes me sweat all over. I like what I see. Let me sort my weapons out. I've actually made a homemade SMG. So I wonder what that's going to be like. Guy, isn't it? Huh, 
So the Garrett sent you to track me down. What a joke. Uh... Give me a share of the caps in your hat and you can go free. Now why the hell should I do that? You're below me, kid. I've been killing scum twice your size since before your mother squeezed you out. Uh... I guess I haven't got a choice. If you think you've got the guts, I'd like to see you try. What? Damn it, I need a hospital. It's a nice hat. Honey, what's your name? Hey, no one but Omeritas are allowed to carry guns into Gamora. Check your weapons with me. Mm. Okay. You'll get these back on your way out. I don't intend any funny business. Hello and welcome to Gamora. What can I help you with today? What is there to do around here? Feel free to head to our club Brimstone, or you can see our gorgeous courtyard out behind the casino. Um, I'm sure you have all the good dirt on what goes on around here. I sure do, but loose lips <laughs> sink ships. Whatever. Fire away. Bye. Okay. There's some serious shit going on between NCR and the Legion. They better not fuck with our power. So why uh, were the dealers naked? Kind of weird. Feeling lucky? Weirdo. God damn this thumbstick. Done playing? Try watching some dancers. Welcome to Gamora. How can I help you? I'd like to exchange all money. Yeah, now I've got some chips, man. 480. Have a good time, and good luck. I don't know if I want to make money just yet, because, uh... I hear you've been making some waves around here. Hey, Thug. I'm glad they don't let just any motherfucker through the gate. Freeside smells like shit. These are the rooms, I'm presuming. I seriously need some health. Tasty. Of sin. Enjoying the show? Mm. 
fuck not at home. Must be cozy up there in the Lucky 38. I hope my dad doesn't find out how much money those hookers cost me. The fuck are you looking at? Okay, still no issue with Give me some sugar. textures. Hot damn, do I love this place. I think maybe if I started a new game, that would resolve. I don't know. This place smells like booze and sex. That's hey. why I'll always come back. Back home, we don't waste time talking to strangers either. God dang, this is a big place. Bosses don't like no trouble in their place. What do we have here, huh? Let me guess. You've heard about the mistress who makes all your fantasies come true. So you followed the call of your desires, all the way to the arms of Joanna. Moi. Now that you've found me, I wonder, do you have what it takes? What the fuck are you talking about, woman? I just want to ask you some questions. All right, honey. What do you want to know? Um... Gamora. Yes. What's the deal? It's your paradise on this desolate earth, hun. Your troubles are gone, your pain forgotten, and your dreams come true. Tell me about your clients. Everyone wants a piece of their own personal heaven, so they come here for hours and hours, hun. <laughs> Military men, NCR ranchers, wandering travelers. They're all the same without their clothes on. What they want, the Omertas provide. Tell me about the Omertas. You best hold your tongue, friend. Or someone here will take care of it for good. What? I'll see you soon, I'm sure. Okay. Hello. Hey there, sugar. I'm Dazzle. What can I do for you? Or to you? You're so handsome, I might just give you a discount. Uh, where are you from? Well now, that's unusual. Normally no one cares enough to ask. To be honest, I don't rightly know. My mama was from around these parts. I can remember her face, but not her name. More than I can remember of my daddy, I guess. We lived in Westside before the Omertas bought me. As bad as it can be some days in here, it's better than living in that dump. A hundred caps, no kissing, no rough stuff. Um... Never mind. Suit yourself. The offer's always open if you feel like changing your mind. Don't be a stranger. <laughs> 